As the economy recovers from the pandemic, subway ridership remains down. Businesses along the way are suffering. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor has the story. A few weeks ago, Turnstile Underground Market reopened at Columbus Circle. Once a busy spot, it's usually hopping. Now, 20 of the 39 businesses are closed. It's like every other place is closed. We checked in today with those still going. We are still doing orders for catering. Donuttery and Easy Paella are able to do delivery in addition to in person. It's better. It's so business is picking up? Day, yeah. The MTA says of the 392 retail slots at various places, 72 have become vacant since the start of the pandemic, 24 of that number at Grand Central Terminal. But it notes not every single vacancy is due to the pandemic. Over at the dining concourse at Grand Central Terminal, it's mostly emptied out. The iconic oyster bar closed for now. Everything's closed downstairs. The obvious issue is a lack of foot traffic, but there are some people who are actually coming here just to go to certain businesses. We've been here since 1952. A line formed outside of Grand Central Watch while we were there. The metal gates are pulled down covering displays, but they are doing business, though not as much in person as the 100 customers a day they estimate they used to see. Now, probably about 15 that actually walk in. We still do stuff by mail. You know, we're lucky to have a lot of good wholesale accounts. So, you know, we are going to survive. Next door at Grand Central Racket. We used to have like 15 rackets almost every day, you know. We're down to maybe a couple of, maybe three or four. They have other locations to pick up the slack too. But those still around are saddened to see so many others have to close up shop for good. At Grand Central Terminal, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. And last month, the MTA announced a financial relief plan for the duration of the pandemic for these businesses, moving from a fixed rent system to a percentage rent system. If a business succeeds, the MTA gets a percentage of its revenue.